Now both of you talked about how to handle a person who is going through panic attack, which was like very um, useful information. So talking about the long term management, so that you avoid getting a panic attack. I would say as as a long term management, just stretching your muscles a little bit whenever you feel a little bit of stress coming along, or even daily stretching. little bit of stretching even if it's just for 15 minutes is going to help you uh, manage your stress and of course uh, learning different techniques of pranayam controlling your breath learning how to breathe deeply learning how to breathe through one nostril or other nostril like alternate nostril breathing that we have in yoga um, all these techniques will eventually help you in mag- managing stress uh, or anxiety or uh, panic attacks apart from uh, what pranjal said uh, on the yogic way uh, the diet also plays a very important role uh, because having a nutritious diet is very essential to make your um, system combat the stress especially when you have a long term stress the free radicals can cause so many damage to every part of your body so to handle it you need to include lots of antioxidant when we say antioxidants as all of you know it is vitamin a C, E, and a little bit of zinc and selenium, and uh, uh, you know when you have all those things uh, through a lot of colorful uh, vegetables and fruits and little sprouts and nuts and uh, seeds, uh, you know uh, sufficient of all these things in every day's uh, diet will help you to stay more healthy. And uh, the second thing is a little bit of sunlight. that is very essential because it helps to improve your immune system in all the uh, ways and it helps you to combat stress also better and it gives you lots of strength on your muscle aches and uh, the bone uh, strengthening part and also a good rest uh, especially the sleep is very essential to you know help you detox every day in yoga there is a technique called yoga nidra it's a wonderful technique which will also help you to uh, you know uh, strengthen your system by uh, giving positive affirmations and handle your stress better so that can be practiced and there are other techniques like um, trataka according to yoga when you keep gazing at one single point you simply activate the ajna chakra and uh, that is the center of your mind uh, it uh, helps you to relax your mind bring down the thought process and it makes you more calmer and uh, the anger the tension part all these things you handle better because you get a better clarity over things so meditation is always uh, beneficial to bring down your stress right yeah um, it's just a 2 minute thing and uh, you can just practice it whenever you want and it's if you practice it long enough you get into a habit of doing that um you won't really have stress or i would say you're you'll be better able to manage your stress i think both of you mentioned uh, about when someone is stressed they don't get to sleep well right i think akitna was talking in detail about that so what happens to our body like uh, physiologically and also emotionally so what happens when uh, a person does not get enough sleep when uh, he or she is stressed yes uh, as i told before sleep is the one which uh, is a beautiful blessing of god for everyone to recharge for the next day's activity we do nothing but we feel more energized the next morning mm-hmm. so uh, the sleep if you miss the sleep what happens is uh, the body does not detox and uh, rejuvenate properly Uh, especially uh, 11 to 3 o'clock in the morning uh, is uh, said to be the golden hours of sleeping because uh, that is the time according to acupuncture science uh, when your liver and gallbladder does all the detox work and uh, in our traditional medicine we say uh, this is the time when the pitta of your body uh, rejuvenates your system if you don't sleep at this golden hours of um, uh, sleep what happens is your aging sets in very faster that is say uh, not just wrinkling or graying of hair just that external what we usually think when we use the term aging but your heart your lung your stomach everything starts to age a little faster for a 30 year person you may have even a 60 years heart 
just because of not proper sleep which is again tied up with the stress so if you don't sleep well the uh, you know the next day you have an irritated mood you don't feel fresh and long term sleep come uh, you know disorder can easily raise your bp also even your complexion your uh, around your eyes especially women will be more concerned about it around the eyes the dark circle all these things very easily sets up with the sleeplessness i feel like a uh, lot lack of sleep also affects uh, like kitana was saying the daily uh, routine uh, of your day but i've seen it also affects like balance or it not just physically but mentally also like you tend to get angry irritated very uh, quickly because of that um just n- uh, normal like disorientation uh, can also happen if you have lack of sleep for like more than a day uh, more than one night uh, so i think that is also uh, important and we don't realize it as much